Welcome gamers, Hazardor here, and today I want to give you my impressions slash a review of FIFA 16. First, I want to go through the positive aspects of the game and everything that I like about the game. Starting off, the menu looks very, very nice. In my opinion, it looks much better than last year, and it just looks much more cleaner. I don't really know how to describe it, but you guys know what you mean if you've got the game. It all looks much more organised, and the little animations on the screen look very, very nice, and it's just a breath of fresh air. It looks very different from FIFA 15. You you can see that EA have put a lot of effort into the menu, so people get a good first impression when they first go on the game. There seems to be a theme of blue around FIFA 16, there's a lot of blue stuff on the screen, a lot of textures, blue textures, blue background, stuff like that, and that works very well in my opinion, that looks very good. There are also a few additions to FIFA 16 that are very good, women's football is a very good addition, although I don't think people will play it for a long time, it's just something new into the game. Not only in terms of FIFA, but it's a step forward for women's football in real life, being in a video game where women have not actually been in it before. That's a big step for them. And for anybody who's played FIFA before, we'll get the same good old FIFA experience from FIFA 16. And you'll be right at home if you've played FIFA games before and you want a similar kind of gameplay experience. Another good addition to the game is Foot Draft. People played a lot of Foot Draft in a demo, as that was probably the best thing to do there because Kickoff wasn't that good. And Foot Draft is actually very good in the full game. It's good to see EA trying out different ideas and not just sticking with one mode and ultimate team. Last year they had added concept squads which was kind of successful but people didn't use it as much as they expected so hopefully foot draft will take up a lot of people's time instead of them just playing ultimate team. They added new celebrations every year and the new celebrations added this year look very very good. When these celebrations are close up to the camera you can really see that EA have put a lot of effort into the facial animations to make the game look much more realistic. Up in the graphics from the previous FIFA which they have to do every year to keep the game different and to make it look better than the one last year. The new Premier League stadiums they added into the game is also a good feature as every team in the Premier League now has their own stadium on the game and the fans in every stadium look much more alive than last year and the atmosphere in the stadium is just a lot better in my opinion with the added chance and it just feels much more like a football game year by year and that's what they actually want they want the game to feel more like a real football game as the years go by despite these positives I have found quite a lot of negatives in this game this may just be a personal opinion but I think the FIFA tracks aren't very good this year I've seen quite a lot of people also complain about this, so I'm not the only one. I just don't think the FIFA tracks are as good as they used to be. You may think that they're not quite an important part of the game, but when you're opening packs, or just when you're not in a game, you are hearing these tracks in the background, so you want them to be good so you actually enjoy your time on the game. Onto the gameplay side, the gameplay has changed a little bit. The passing takes a long time to get used to, and the passing isn't always consistent, it doesn't always go to the same person. The goalkeepers are still not fixed. A lot of shots where they should be getting them, they're getting rebounds off their elbows and arms and they're just flying into the back of the net. This should simply not be happening and they should have fixed this from last year. However, I was playing offline mode so it may be different online. Let's hope it is anyway because the goalkeepers cannot surely be broken again. I also don't understand why EA refused to do anything with pro clubs. It's a very, very popular mode and it's very good to enjoy with your friends but it's just been the same for ages and ages. How about they add something new into that instead of just concentrating on ultimate team and on career mode and other modes? I think pro clubs is the second mode popular mode just behind ultimate team because a lot of people enjoy going in a game together with all their friends and competing against others so I think they really should add something to pro clubs and the fact that it is almost identical to last year is a big criticism. A lot of people say that FIFA is always the same thing over and over again and I'm starting to think the same thing. Why don't EA just add a sort of DLC into the game every year and sort of update it instead of bringing out a full new game that costs us full price. They could just update the game once a year we would have to pay for it of course like £20, £30 but not the full price of a game. They add changes to ultimate team, pro clubs, all the modes, they change the gameplay a bit but I don't think they need to make new games every year, they could just update it, sort of a DLC. They will still earn money of course but I don't think they need to bring a game out every year because a lot of people criticise it for being the same thing year after year. People still buy FIFA every year so EA are of course going to keep doing it. What do you guys think of FIFA 16? Are you enjoying it? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.